welcome to my new video today in today's video i will go through the process of submitting or publishing ios application to app store the application that i have today is a native ios app that i built it use i built it using xcode and i will go through this process step by step the minimum requirement for xcode to publish an app and currently my application that i have is up and running on app store so i'm publishing an update of this application but i will mention a couple of things that uh, uh, submitting a new application going to go through the same process so uh, my today's project will uh, my today's video will go through step by step for xcode and apple developer account and app store connect application uh, connect account uh, so let's get started and go through the process step by step the xcode should be version 16 so you should upgrade to xcode 16 in order to publish a new application and that means also your operating system should be up to date and you need at least um, sequoia operating system mac os sequoia in order to publish in uh, 2025 and uh, that means what i did last week i had to upgrade my operating system and then Go and update my xcode to be xcode 16 and then i should be ready to start publishing my application or sending an update in my case today i will post uh, or publish an update for my app so here i will go you go through step by step to do that first of all you need to connect to your apple developer account i do have my apple developer account ready so i'm here logging on to my apple developer account and that means I should also be able to uh, App Store Connect because I have Apple Developer account. I have also App Store Connect, and as you could see, my application ready for distribution. That means my app is up and running on App Store, and everyone can download it. And what I will do right now, I will go ahead and publish an update. First of all, I should make sure that I have version to be more than 30 so now currently i have a, a, a version 30 so i should uh, uh, uh increase my version to be 31 in xcode and in order to do that you should make sure that you have here in xcode go to target and it should be here version 30.1 or 31 and build number one for this version the version ready which is in general tag you should make sure that the version is more than the version that's uh, on App Store. N then you have to make sure that you already sign sign to your Apple Developer account. A uh, good idea to make this uh, automatically manage signing. And you should here add the team uh, that you have, which is Apple Developer account team. And you should make sure that you already sign in. As you can see, I'm here done. No error, no warning in my case. Number two, in order to start publishing the app, I should change here. I already finished testing and everything is done. Uh, I'm using my phone, physical phone, because I have some feature that's not going to work on uh, the simulator. That's why I'm using my physical phone. Number two, you should go to any generic device, which is in here, any iOS device. And I will go to product. Let me just move this a little bit to here. Uh, from product menu, uh, I'm uh, archiving this application. So uh, here, um, uh, this is going to take some time. Archiving the, going to take some time, and then I will show you what should happen when we when archiving is done. Thing is over. You should see something like this: your application name in here, the the, the creation date, and the version number, and you should also be able to see. Uh, the team your apple developer team uh, in here and the button to say dis distribute app and i will click on this button right now and this is will ask me to, to select one of the method of distribution and i will go with app store connect there is multiple features here if you go with release testing or t test flight option i'm now publishing the app right away i will distribute click on distribute and this is will take some time to finish uh, preparing uh, for distribution. And as you can see here, it's upload for App Store Connect. While this is processing, it seems to be faster this time, maybe because it is an update. 
and when this is over i should be able to distribute the app from here i will show you the next step when this is done five minutes the process completed and uh, everything done correctly if there is any issue in the version it, you will get here some errors in case of an errors and now you should be able to click on this done and the app should be uploaded to app store as you can see here uh, it should show that it's uploaded to app store what that means that me if i go to app store connect my account in here and if i scroll down a little bit and refresh i should see the new version sometimes this this process might take uh, one to two days so as you can see here i still see version number two and i will try to i'm clicking right now on version number two see if there's not nothing in here so i this is will this is what shows me all the version here we go i could see right now in ios builds after clicking on the build i could see now version 30.1 the one that i already uploaded it's still processing so this is what may might take um hour less than hour more than hour depend and when it is done you should be able to uh, ready to publish the app uh, for reviewing and then after reviewing it will be ready for distribution So after making sure that the build is uploaded to app store i'm ready to create my new version so i should go here and cl click on this plus sign and give it a name and i will say here uh, ios and i will go here with ios app version 30.1 and i will hit create and this is going to create a new version for me as you could see and this is has the yellow circle prepare for submission this prepare for submission uh, for my new version i could here uh, see the exact previous screenshot and that i have it this is the description as it was what is new in this version i will update that and the most important thing here is under build because i already uploaded my build i could right now click on this add build and i should find my version uploaded in here so i could select it like this done and uh, as you could see everything is here completed all what i have to do in order for app for uh, um add for review is to add this section here which is what is new in this version i will hit save and update um after hitting save i could right now start publishing the app i mean send it for review and i will uh, add here the description and then click on this button and i will show you that soon uh, adding the needed description i can i'm ready to hit the button add for review and this add for review will um, notify me now as you could see my application is ready for review the status is ready for review and i could right now submit and i will here submit app to app review this is my take uh one to two days the bend and they will uh right now the status is awaiting for review and this is uh will respond in a couple of days uh if there is no issues the, uh, the app will be ready for distribution and this yellow Will become a green circle thank you very much for watching this video uh, i went through publishing an update to app store for a native uh, ios application using xcode i hope you enjoy watching this video if you have any question please let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep you posted with any updated video thank you for now